Hello and welcome to this session on how to use Phantom JS to run our Selenium test in a headless browser. Today we will learn in a very basic and easy way how do we download Phantom JS, how do we add Phantom JS to our Selenium project, and then we will create a very simple program to run our Selenium test on Phantom JS. Let us begin. The very first step is we have to download Phantom JS as per our operating system. And this is the website that you can go to. I will provide all the links below the description in the video. So let's go to our browser and let's type phantomjs. And the very first site that we get is phantomjs.org. Let us go here. And in this site, you can see the download button. Let us go to the download. And here you can find the download versions for Phantom JS as per your operating system. So if you are on Windows, you will select this. If you are on Mac, you will select the Mac version and so on. I am going to download the Mac version, but even if you are on Windows, you can follow it along. So I have already downloaded it here. Let me show you. I will unzip this. And go inside the folder. So this is my Phantom JS. I have downloaded it here and the next step is you have to download phantom js driver however this is an optional step we need phantom js driver because it has ghost driver which will actually uh, interact between selenium and the phantom js browser how does this interaction happens i will tell you in a very basic and easy way in the next session but for this session let us concentrate on running our selenium test on phantom js so in case you have to you can go to uh, the phantom js driver i will say download phantom js driver maven and you can go to this site any of this maven site and you can see this is uh, this is to get the ghost driver but because in the latest version of phantom js ghost driver is already inbuilt so you do not have to download it again so this is kind of an optional step that you can skip now we have to add the phantom js driver jar to our selenium project however as i said that phantom js driver you will not need to uh, install it separately in case you are using the latest version of phantom js so you can skip this step let us go directly to how to run our selenium test on phantom js so the very first step is we have to add the system property for the phantom js exe and before we do that let us create a program so this is uh, the project that we have been uh, working on in our earlier sessions in case you have not watched the earlier sessions you can watch it but in this session i am going to create a separate new program to run phantom js so even if you have not watched the earlier sessions you can follow it along the prerequisite will be you have to add the selenium libraries okay so you can watch the earlier session in case you have not added the selenium libraries what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new package and i'm going to name it as phantom js and inside this new package i'm going to create a new class and I'm going to name it as Phantom JS test. Okay, now let me create a main method. I will say main control space and hit this main method. And here now we can start creating our test cases. So the very first step is we have to set the property for Phantom JS binary, and this is how we do it. We have to say system.set property phantom js binary path and the location of the phantom js exe. So our phantom js exe will be inside the bin and this is the phantom js exe that we have to add. What we can do is to make it uh, more organized, I will add a separate folder within my project inside the lib folder and I will name it as phantom js. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to physically go to the location of this folder on my system so 
I am going to this folder and now I will just copy this phantom JS exe to this folder ok it is not mandatory you can just uh, keep this phantom JS anywhere but just to make it more handy I am keeping it within my project so now let me just see if I have got let me refresh the project and yes yeah, so you can see inside my phantom js folder I have got this phantom js exe ok so now I have to set the system property system dot set property and we have to say phantom js dot binary dot path phantom js dot binary dot path and the location of our exe file so this is our phantom js exe let me copy its location it is located here you can do a right click and go to properties to get the location and just add it here okay so we have added the phantom js exe path in our system properties let us go to step 2 step 2 is we have to create an object for phantom js driver class and this is how we do it let us do that now i will say web driver driver equals to new phantom js driver and this is the one that you have to select from org.openqa.selenium.phantomjs and web driver again from org.openqa so you can say web driver driver or uh, phantom js driver it will be okay for in both the cases and now we have to create and run our test so we can do any test like driver dot get some URL and let us go to our selenium hq website itself and test it I am copying this URL pasting it here there is no need of www and I can say driver dot quit but because this is going to be a headless browser nothing will come on the screen how do we validate that our test was successful to do that let me just print out the title of the page driver dot get title and I will print it out I am doing SYSO control space bar and I will say title of the web page is and this value I will cut it from here and paste it here and that's it ok so we have created a simple test we have added the phantom js binary path in the uh, properties and then we have created the object for phantom js driver and now we are doing a simple test going to this website and printing out the title so now let us run this I will do a right click run as java application save it and now let us see what happens this should run our test in a headless mode that is there will no GUI coming up on the screen there will be no browser coming up but our test will run at the back end now see if you get these kind of uh, some warnings this is these are not any errors it is okay and this is what we are looking for it has run our test case and it has printed the title selenium web browser automation that means our test is now successful and it is running fine so this is how we run our selenium test on a phantom js browser let us do a very quick recap today we learned how do we download phantom js how do we add phantom js to selenium project and then how do we run our selenium test on phantom js i hope this session was very useful for you in case you have any doubts or comments or questions please do write them down in the comments section. I will meet you in the next session. Thanks for watching.